simplest form of a fraction. If 1 is the HCF of the numerator and denominator of a fraction, then the fraction is said to be in its simplest form. Take the fraction 5 by 25. The HCF of both 5 and 25 is 5. When we divide both 5 and 25 by 5, we get 5 divided by 5 upon 25 divided by 5 equal to 1 by 5. Hence, 5 by 25 in its lowest form can be written as 1 by 5. Like and unlike fractions When in a group of fractions, the numerators are different, but the denominator is same, the fractions are called like fractions. For example, 2 by 9, 4 by 9, 5 by 9 and 7 by 9 are like fractions because each fraction has the same denominator that is 9. Similarly, the fractions with different denominators are called unlike fractions. For example, 1 by 7, 3 by 8, 6 by 11, etc. are unlike fractions. Let us convert 1 by 3, 5 by 6 and 3 by 10 into equivalent like fractions. First, we will find the LCM of the denominators 3, 6 and 10. We find that the LCM of 3, 6 and 10 is 30. 1 by 3 will become 1 into 10 by 3 into 10 equal to 10 by 30. 5 by 6 will become 5 into 5 by 6 into 5 equal to 25 by 30. And 3 by 10 will become 3 into 3 by 10 into 3 equal to 9 by 30. Hence, like fractions are 10 by 30, 25 by 30 and 9 by 30. Comparison of fractions Different fractions can have different numerators and denominators. We can easily compare fractions with the same denominator and fractions with the same numerator. If two fractions have the same denominator, then the fraction with greater numerator is greater. For example, when we compare 5 by 7 and 9 by 7, we find that 9 is greater than 5. So, 9 by 7 is greater than 5 by 7. If two fractions have same numerator, then the fraction with greater denominator is smaller. For example, 16 by 29 is less than 16 by 27 because 29 is greater than 27. Addition and Subtraction of Fractions Let us add two like fractions, 1 by 7 and 3 by 7. For this, we will add the numerators only, as the denominators are same. It will remain the same. 1 by 7 plus 3 by 7 is equal to 1 plus 3 by 7 equal to 4 by 7. This tells us that the sum of two or more like fractions is equal to the sum of numerators divided by common denominator. In the same way, we subtract two like fractions. Let us subtract 2 by 15 from 14 by 15. This tells us that the difference of two like fractions is equal to the difference of numerators 
divided by common denominators. We will now add two unlike fractions, that is, fractions with different denominators. Let us add 1 by 4 and 2 by 3. Before adding, we have to convert them into like fractions. For this, we will find the LCM of their denominators, 4 and 3, which is 12. Now, 1 by 4 is equal to 1 into 3 by 4 into 3 equal to 3 by 12 and 2 by 3 is equal to 2 into 4 by 3 into 4 equal to 8 by 12. So, 3 by 12 plus 8 by 12 is equal to 11 by 12. Similarly, if we want to add mixed fractions like 1 and 1 by 4 and 3 and 1 by 3, we will first write them as improper fractions. 1 and 1 by 4 plus 3 and 1 by 3 equal to 1 into 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 3 into 3 plus 1 by 3 is equal to 5 by 4 plus 10 by 3 equal to 5 into 3 by 4 into 3 plus 10 into 4 by 3 into 4 equal to 15 by 12 plus 40 by 12 equal to 55 by 12 equal to 4 and 7 by 12. We can also subtract fractions exactly in the same way as we add them. Decimal Fractions Fractions with denominators 10 or multiples of 10 that is 100, 1000 or 10,000 etc. are called decimal fractions or simply decimals. We place 10 coins on the table and take out one from it. It is called one tenth and we write it as 1 by 10 or as 0 0.1. Now we will place 100 coins on the table and take out one from it. It is called one hundredth and we can write it as 1 by 100 or as 0 0.01. Also, 1 by 1000 is read as 1000th and we write it as 0 0.001. Following the same pattern, you can write for fractions with more multiples of 10 as their denominators like 1 by 10,000, 1 by 1 lakh, etc. Fractions as decimals and vice versa. To convert a fraction into a decimal, we first write an equivalent fraction with denominator 10 or its multiples 100, 1000, etc. For example, 1 by 5 can be written as 1 into 2 by 5 into 2 equal to 2 by 10, which is 0 0.2. We can also convert a decimal into a fraction. For example, 8.5 equal to 8 plus 0 0.5 equal to 8 plus 5 by 10 equal to 8 plus 1 by 2 equal to 8 and 1 by 2. Comparison of decimals A decimal consists of two parts, namely whole number part and the decimal part. For example, 3.45 has 3 as the whole number part and 4.5 as the decimal part. 
when we compare decimals first we compare the whole number parts the greater part means the greater decimal also if whole number parts are equal then we compare the tens the decimal with greater tens is greater if even the tens are equal then we compare the hundreds the decimal with greater hundreds is greater and so on suppose we have to compare 12.7 and 2.34 in 12.7 the whole number part is 12 in 2.34 the whole number part is 2 as 12 is greater than 2 12.7 is greater than 2.34